Scanners detect no significant objects. Yeah, yeah. Captain Cassini. Out at the rocks again, Vince. Just got off a 12-hour shift. You're gonna wrap me out to Central. It's not my fault they're keeping an eye on you. Especially when you're out chasing phantoms. I know. It's been ten years and I'm wasting my time. Has it been that long? Technically, not till the 27th. Same day as Dahlia's birthday. <sighs> Can't believe she's gonna be 13. The 27th is today? Nah. Oh, no. I promised I'd make it this time. You still have time if you leave now. Trisha's gonna give me hell for this. Would you like me to pick up? Captain. Captain. Mac. Status. Comms down. Hull breach. Your presence is recommended in the cabin. Be right there. Fan bloody tastic. Status report. Hull breach. Comms down. Atmospheric pressure forty nine point five percent. What the hell happened, Mac? The ship received six impacts from light anti-armor shells, one of which punctured the hull. Communications were knocked out in a deliberate collision with the attacking ship. Any idea who hit us? Sensors before impact show two light rockets of custom design, trailing a Falcon Mark V. Sounds like a couple of jockeys harassing a fancy Logan ship. Any more info on those jockeys? They were pursuing the Falcon when one broke off and attacked this ship. Their markings identify them as Seven Circle jockeys. It's not like them to attack us directly. Any more information on the Logan ship? Falcon, Mark V, moving its speed from the jockeys. The Mark IVs were a scout ship during the war. Looks like they've upgraded. I will call this in as soon as communication is up. Hold off until we know what we're dealing with. Can you get a line on those ships? Due to the current status of communications, that data would be highly unreliable. Right. Never mind. Okay then. Ship. Set the atmospheric pressure to zero percent. Setting atmospheric pressure to zero percent. Status report. The ship suffered damage as the result of projectile impacts, but all systems are now stable. Those ships that attacked us. Can you get a line on those ships? An estimated trajectory is now in the ship's navigation system. However, finding them now is highly improbable. It's worth a shot. That statement contradicts the information you just received.
Let's just try our luck. This is a very inefficient use of resources. Humor me. Ha, ha, Captain. Never mind. Okay then. Ship, set the atmospheric pressure to normal. Setting atmospheric pressure to 100%. Ship, scan the area. Scanners detect no significant objects. Ship, status report. Minor hull damage. Atmospheric pressure nominal. Ship, weapons check. Torpedo launchers and Gatling gun operational. Ammunition at full capacity. Ship, follow course Alpha 7. Full speed. Setting course Alpha 7. Engines to full power. Captain, the scanner is picking up evidence of the attacking ships. Any signs of hostile activity? Negative, Captain. Bring us into a matching vector. Affirmative, Captain. Captain? Matt? I'm detecting an anomaly from the Loken ship. Thanks for the heads up. So, this is the Mark V. It's been opened up like a can. I wonder what could have done this. There's a safe inside. I bet that's the source of the anomaly. Looks like this accepts a palm print. I'm wearing gloves, but I doubt it would accept my print. This is going to be tricky. Steady. Steady. Darn it. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see how this goes.
Let's hope this doesn't need a thermal reading. No. Nope. Maybe it's meant to work with cold, dead hands. What have we got? Ah, tacky stuff. See if this fits. Well, there you go. It looks like some kind of remote. Oh! What the? Who the hell are you? Captain Vincent Cassini of the Cetus Orbital Police. Oh, a cough. Listen, quick. My name is Avrila. I need you to get me to Apartment 1, Bay 7, Asteroid D. Know it? Yeah, I know it. I'll get you there. Thank you. I hope we make it in time. Please, hurry. Yes? What's going on? I'll tell you everything if you get me back in time. What's your read on this situation, Mac? Jockeys were in pursuit of a Loken ship until a collision with the massive object. There's nothing out here but these ships. Your observation is accurate, Captain. Status report. A potential human consciousness was discovered in a device of Loken origin. An attempt to reunite the consciousness with its owner is in progress. Okay then. Set a course for Asteroid Dew. Full speed. Setting course. Asteroid Dew. Engines to full power. Thank you. 
life goes by in a blink. Do you require assistance, Captain? Not unless you can turn back time. This model is not equipped with that capability, Captain. Ha! <laughs> This is a heavy blast door with a primitive keycard lock. Can you hack the lock? Even with the realist's permission, there is no way to interface with this primitive system. How about we just blast it? Blasting the door could potentially compromise life inside the apartment, even if you had the tools to do so, which you do not. Maybe there's another way in. That is entirely probable, Captain. Okay then. Good. Hey, Mac. Do you think you could fit in that vent? That would be trespassing, Captain. A Mac is unable to commit a crime. Are you kidding me, Mac? Get your sorry can through that vent. Unable to comply. Hey, Mac. How about going through this vent? As we laid earlier, that would be trespassing. A Mac is unable to commit a crime. Yes? Hey, do you mind if I enter your apartment? Are you kidding? It's more for the Mac. Yes, go! Hey, Mac. Aurelia said it's okay to enter her apartment. Now, will you get in this vent? A Mac was not designed for this kind of work, Captain. Doing so may require costly repairs. That's an order, Mac. Affirmative, Captain. 
Maybe try ramming it. So, get rid of it. Okay, come on back. Sounds like the coast is clear. Hey, Mac. Pretty sure the cat's gone. I need you to take a look. Very well, Captain. Captain, the door appears to have a single bit of rubber designed for a hidden finger. Don't you have any hidden gadgets you can stick out? This model is not equipped with manipulators, Captain. Okay, come on back. Mac, if I stick these magnets to you, can you push that button in the apartment? This may work, Captain. However, magnets are not advised for a man, so a more optimal position is recommended. There, Mac. That's not so bad. The sooner these come off, the better, Captain.
Cut it. Peace for booties bagged it. Sorry, I, I didn't quite get that. This is no time for joking around, Captain. Magnets can do serious damage to a back. Okay, Mac. You've been a sport. Thank you, Captain. Anytime. Pulse is weak. She's barely holding on. <gasps> um, killer wart, man. How you feeling? <laughs> Wow, I'm spaced. You know, like waking up after some heavy DNA work. Yeah, like that, eh? Welcome back. Oh, killer. Yeah, thanks for putting my feet down, man. Welcome to my place in space. Tell me about those guys that attacked you. Oh, man, those guys? I hope they all get spaced. I don't normally talk to cops, but because you're the Tin Man and you saved my can, you got some cred, but the bot gotta go. You've heard of me. Vince Cassini. Tin Man. Yeah? You OG kicked them locans back where they came from. It true you got no heart? That's none of your business. Oh, wow. You always this fun? The captain is not required to be fun. Good, you're a cop then. Bot. You mean Mac? Yeah, you're hover boy there. Direct feed to the man. Mac, would you mind leaving? Captain, due to your decided lack of augmentation, this action would reduce your capability. Reconsidering this request is recommended. Mac, I wouldn't ask if it weren't important. Your trust is improperly placed, Captain. This breach of protocol will be noted. Okay, tell me about this attack. What you want to know? Locans don't normally hang out in the rocks. Except for all the mines they got out here? Sure, but this mine was cleared out before the war. They were... interested in this thing I found. This... facility. What facility? I don't know, man. Some kind of sick storage facility. What are they storing? I... Take your time. Bodies. Thousands of them. All organized. Rows and rows. Titus isn't back yet. I know. But we can't wait any longer. They'll be here soon. Damn, Lokens. Get Trish and Dahlia to the drop. I'll meet you there. Wait. Where are you going? Got a thing I need to do. I'll meet you there. But... Trust me. We've got to go now. Love you, Julie. See you soon, Vin. Hey. Hey, man. You okay? What? Hey, you shut down. 
Sorry about that. This common? Yeah, sometimes. I know some jockeys from the war that get like that. You should talk to someone. Where did we get to? How'd you find it? So, I was out on my skiff, graphing some rocks for a pub job. I couldn't catch any of that. Oh, honest. You sure you a cop? Okay, old. I'll break it down. I've got a little ship that takes custom paint ammo I make, and I use it on asteroids for public art pieces. Okay. So I get a line on this rock and fire, but some nothing gets in the way. Some nothing. Yeah. So I take a few shots to clock the size of it, and looks like this huge cloaked station hovering in the middle of nowhere. How'd you get in? Oh, that part took me months. I kept losing at first, because obviously it was moving, but it keeps a consistent distance from Cetus and a regular orbital period. Impressive. Oh, thanks, man. After I was able to plot its orbit, I tried to get in. I tried everything I could, until one day, I was messing with transponder keys. And I got a ping back from it. Transponder keys? Yeah, I mess with remixing transponder keys. They each make a unique sound, and there's a decent mix scene. Some of them are pretty slamming, but I still suck at it. Right. So I find out this thing likes transponder keys, but not mine. I send away on this dark site I know for old transponder keys, and long story short, I find one that clicks, and BAM! The thing cracks like an egg. What I didn't know at the time was that someone was tuned in on this key. Tuned in? The keys sing together. Someone looking for the right signal could pick it up, but to hear that, they'd have to be close. Like right here in the ring somewhere. That's gotta be how they found me. I'll bet they were just waiting for someone to activate that key. Where's the facility? Okay. Yeah. So... So... Okay, okay. Promise me you'll get the people who did this. I give you my word. I'll find the people responsible for this. Okay. Okay. Probably better for me just to share it. What's your handle? Uh, don't have a chip. Can you just send it to my ship? Oh, let me check. Tin Man Zero One? Yeah. Done. How'd you find it again? It showed up when I was trying to shoot paint at an asteroid. How'd you get in again? Got close enough with the right transponder key. Thanks for your time. This facility you found. Thanks for your time. What did the jockeys have to do with the attack? What jockeys? I found a couple of seven circles where I picked you up. What? Were they okay? I'm afraid not. Oh. You knew them? I don't know for sure. But Cram and his brother Sabi were hanging around before the Lokan showed up. They're brutes. 
but sweeties when you get to know them. Like Eagle, we look out for each other here. Let's talk about something else. I'd like to find out more about you. Ask away. What do you do here? <laughs> What's a nice girl like me doing in a place like this? Something like that. Mostly art projects. There's usually no one getting in your business here, so I can make some pretty cool stuff. What kind of art? Ah, uh, some canvas work, some asteroid work, jewelry. You a collector? Not on a cop's wages. Ugh, I get the straight cop. Well, if you find an art collector, maybe you'll give him my card? You have cards? Yeah, old world. Here. Okay. <laughs> What kind of jewelry? I take space junk and asteroid rock and turn it into art. Sounds like something my stepdaughter would be into. Oh, yeah? How old is she? Thirteen. Today. Oh, wow. Wait here. Thanks. What's this? Earrings. For your daughter. They're slamming. I see how slamming they are. Thanks. What kind of canvas work? I'm pretty into ballistic art. This place has good access and few regulations. So you might say I'm blasting out a niche here. What kind of asteroid work? Painting asteroids with cannons, torpedoes. It's pub work to promo my other stuff. That's how I found the facility. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else. I'd like to find out more about you. Uh-huh. Let's talk about... Thanks for your time. found this in the safe where they were keeping you. That's the key. I don't want it back. Too much heat on it. Be careful if you use it. I can use this. Check your ship. You'll be surprised you never noticed it before. gonna be okay I can post an officer on you <laughs> no way first unwelcome nose through that door is getting blown off good to know Status report. The subject, Arela, was returned to her body. Okay then. Call the department. Rust Police Department. Hey, Bob. Vince, what happened out there? Caught some shrapnel from some jockeys. Are you okay? No drama. Looking into it. Be careful, hon. Will do, Bob. Call Trish. Hello? Hey, it's me. I might be a bit late. How late? I don't know. Just start without me if the kids want. No, we'll wait.
Colorila. Hey, TM, what's going wrong? I had a few more questions for you. Save them for FaceTime. Holla at the door when you get here. Ship, scan the area. External life form detected. Ship scan cancelled. Ship, set a course for a uh, warped facility. Full speed. Setting course, warp facility. Engines to full power. No. No, 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 no. Captain? Captain? Yeah, Mac? Ship sensors are picking up a large amount of residual radiation from a recent detonation. Recommend scanning the area for any remaining evidence. Right. Ship, scan the area. Scanners have detected nearby objects. Next. Back. Back. I can't make anything out. Back. Back. Doesn't look useful. Back. Facility 4. Ship, save this information. Saving to database. Back. 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 Ship, stop scanning. No need to lower the ramp now. Captain, if you leave now, you can still make Dahlia's birthday. Oh, yes. Right. Okay, I think I'm done here. Captain, leaving the ship is not advised due to unsafe levels of radiation. Right. Ship, return to base. Full speed. Setting course, Rust Police Department. Engines to full power. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candles, Dahlia. Make a wish.
What did you wish for, Dahlia? You're not supposed to tell. Did you like the scarf, Dahlia? Yeah, it's great, Mum, but blue's not really my colour, you know. Oh, since when? Since, I don't know, forever. Dolly, Dolly, did you like our card? Shh, it's definitely my favourite card. Oh, that reminds me. I got you these. Oh, wow. I hear they're slamming. Ha <laughs> ha, right. I see you saved on wrapping paper again. Don't start, Patricia. That's a really great card, boys. Did you both help? I did the colour. Sam did the pictures. You're getting pretty good there, Sam. Thanks, Dad. It's nice having a mature adult around once in a while. Talia! I know you're feeling frustrated. You don't spend enough time with her to know how she's feeling. At least he tries when he is here. Oh, it's easy to pop in and play hero. Captain, a Code 47 has just been reported in Sector G37. Let one of the other units take it, Mac. Captain, this incident bears resemblance to your most recent incident. I've got to take this. Oh, how convenient. Thanks for the earrings, Vince. I'm gonna jet to. Where are you going? Nowhere. That's the only place to go in this hellhole. You watch your language, Dahlia Marie Tran. Don't walk away from me. She's just blowing off a bit of steam. I don't need this from you right now. Just go. Hey, Trish. I thought you had somewhere to be, Vince. Hey, Ferdy. Is it my birthday next? Uh, I, th I think so. It's mine, actually. Oh, right. Hey, Sammy. Are you going back to work? Yeah, mate. When will you be back? Not sure. Okay. Hey, Trish. I thought you had somewhere to be, Vince. Okay, Mac. Tell me about this Code 47. Wouldn't you rather not discuss this in front of your family? Right. S this location... Okay. Okay, Mac. Details. A local droid tech has been reported missing for over six hours. Probably just at a bar. Their last job was at the Nebula Ventura Mine in Sector G37. The new Loken mine. I'd wager someone's buying a nice ship after issuing that permit. The correlation suggests that. I hear you. Two Loken-related disappearances in the last 24 hours. I'm not dropping the ball on this one. Uh, Captain Cassini? I saw Dahlia heading out in a hurry. Probably towards the arcade. The kids are always hanging out there. Did the birthday party go okay? Get your nose out of it. Oh, don't mind me. Just keeping an eye out. Never know who might be hanging around. I see you're heading out again. Didn't you just get in? Don't you start. Oh, 
far be it from me to get involved. Sure. Before you go, I couldn't help overhearing. You see, Fatima Deng over in District 12, her son's gone missing. He's a droid tech. A good boy looks after his family. Just bought a ship. What can you tell me? The Dings, lovely family. Fatima makes a great casserole. Their son has been working hard to support them, apprenticing as a droid tech. Just bought his own ship, been working mostly on mining droids. Doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. He was supposed to come home for lunch after a job at that new Nebula Ventura mine. He's a diabetic. So his mother's worried he hasn't eaten in a while. He's never late, so he probably didn't bring anything with him. Thanks, Colin. Any time, Captain. I see you took the mine job, Vince. I was going to put someone else on it. Thanks, Bob, but my got it. Does this have something to do with your last report? I don't write reports. Mac does. He could tell you. There appears to be a significant correlation in... Can it, Mac? So, how did the party go? I think things went as well as they could have. Oh, okay. That's good to hear. What can you tell me about the missing person? Robert Dang, a droid tech in District 6, was reported missing six hours ago after he failed to show up for lunch. His family insists this is very unusual behavior. His last job was at the new Nebula Ventura site. How's it going, Bob? Oh, it's going. A little chilly, though. This new heater's down again. Cheap Loken junk. What's wrong with it? Blown a fuse. I've got some on order, but who knows when they'll come in. I'll let you know if I find any. Thanks, hon. See you, Bob. Don't be a stranger. Fuse is blowing. Says it takes L-13B fuses. I've got some on order, but who knows when they'll get in.
Ship, set a course for the Nebula Ventura mine in G37. Setting course, NVG37. Engines to full power. NVG-37, this is Captain Cassini of the COP, requesting permission to dock. NVG-37, come in. NVG-37, be advised, I will be making an approach to your main docking area. Ship, switch to manual flight. Enabling manual flight controls. Ship, lower the cargo ramp. Unable to comply. Atmospheric pressure inside ship does not match atmospheric pressure outside. Ship, set the atmospheric pressure to 0%. Setting atmospheric pressure to 0%. Ship, lower the cargo ramp. Lowering cargo ramp. What can you tell me about this Logan mine? Nebula Ventura received a permit three months ago to extract various metals from an asteroid in Sector G37. The Nebula Ventura Corporation was registered three years ago by a native of Locus. Status Report Investigating Missing Person Robert Deng Last known location, a Nebula Ventura mine in Sector G37. What can you tell me about this tech? Robert Deng, Droid Tech, resides in Hab 27, District 12, with his mother and four brothers. Robert was supposed to return for lunch six hours ago, and did not show up. His last job was a call-out to the Nebula Ventura mine in Sector G37. Okay then. No gravity. Power must be off. If you can find the main power control, maybe you could try to restore the power. Right. Thank you. 